Mm. The, the, the military is a constituency. Mm. So they are represented in parliament, mm. which is uh, unlike us. We don't have that. So mm. the, the Uganda army under Museveni say they have a stake in the government because they, they liberated the Ugandans from... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they have a stake in government. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So well, the military has a different standing. Yeah, clearly a different... Yeah, Go yeah ahead. it's true mm. that... Uh, a point, a, a rank is uh, linked to uh, appointment. Mm -hmm. It's not hanging you can't anywhere. Be hanging. You cannot be promoted to stay and wait for a vacancy. <laughs> you, must be, you, must be, you must be pegged to a certain appointment. Mm. So you are promoted to a certain appointment mm. and duties. Mm. Yes. Those you are given to is because that uh, appointment has duties. Mm. You cannot be hanging outside the the, the military because you have been uh, promoted and you hung in the air. No, mm -hmm. you are la you are linked to to a, to, a, to appointment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite interesting. Now you know um, why Kenya uh, only has one four-star general uh, and the rest are under him, and that's the military band. Yeah, um, they will be doing a lot of work here today uh, because even the anthems uh, will be played. Uh, by them. Uh, at the beginning, there will be the national anthem as well as the East African community um, anthem. Let's uh, listen a bit. soon be beginning so kindly I see people at the back who are still standing please let's take our seats we recognize all mourners present please let's take our seats and just to guide you on the order of the service we'll start off with His Excellency the President joining us in this service then we shall receive the body of General Ogola and once placed in the rightful position will then have the national anthem before we have an opening prayer and a welcome note from the service leaders those who are going to be leading us in the service this morning after that we'll go to the tributes followed by the sermon, after which we'll conclude with a vote of thanks before proceeding to the graveside. As mentioned earlier, only those briefed will be allowed to access the gravesite because of the restrictive nature of where it is and the space. So if you have not received a brief to be at the graveside, we kindly request that we cooperate to view the proceedings 
from the monitors provided. We'll soon be beginning our service and we take this opportunity to thank you for your patience. Studio. Or maybe let's wait for the proceedings outside studio. Let's just remain mute as we now are getting ready to begin the procession. Thank you. As we continue to wait for the beginning of uh, the procession, we want to take this opportunity to specially recognize our friends who've come to help us mourn our fallen CDF. And I take, make special recognition of the Chief of Defense Forces from Tanzania, the Chief of Defense Forces from Malawi, the Chief of Defense Forces from Burundi, the Air Force Commander from Uganda and his delegation who are also representing the Chief of Defense Forces, the Army Chief of Staff from Rwanda representing the Chief of Defense Forces from Rwanda. We also have DAs or members of the Military Diplomatic Corps. We have DAs from the United States. DA from UK, DA from China, the DA from Zambia, the DA from Rwanda, the DA from Malawi, and also the DA from Uganda, all joining us in this occasion. We are beginning the celebrations today. Silence, please. Let us all now rise as we receive His Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoe Ruto. We may take our seats briefly.